Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and today I'm going to show you a really fun, quick and easy technique using watercolor pencils. And we've got a cute little card, a cute little matching envelope, and what I'm going to use are Inktense pencils. Um, this is what the package looks like if you go to the store to try to find them. Um, I've got the big set, but the set of 12 has such vivid colors, like what we're going to use today. Um, and you can blend them, so you don't have to have the big set. In fact, you don't have to have the Inktense pencils at all, because um, you can do this with any sort of watercolor pencil. Pencil. So what I'm going to do at first is just um, arrange my pencils in rainbow order. So I've got the Roy G. Biff order here. I've got a little bucket of water and I've got a paintbrush so I'm ready to just go to town with this project. Um, I'm just going to add some color in and if you don't have uh, colored pencils you can use watercolors, you can use watercolor crayons, um, any brand is fine. You can even use a kid's Crayola watercolors. Now what I did to um, prepare, <clears throat> excuse me, I uh, haven't been talking much today, uh, the first thing I've done to prepare this is I just took a watercolor card and um, I stamped on it with um, black pigment ink and then I heat, and heat embossed it with clear, but you could use black, it doesn't really matter, um, and that's going to create a little bit of a resist. Uh, you don't really have to do that, but I will tell you that if you're kind of... Um, nervous about using water media. If you start with, um, with like a stamp, you can do clear or you can do black ink or whatever color you like and then you heat emboss it, you actually make kind of a barrier. So the water is not going to run around on you. It's going to kind of stay within the lines a little bit. So if you're one of these got a color inside the lines people, you might want to try heat embossing your design first. Just a little tip there for you. And I want pretty vivid colors so I'm coloring pretty uh, firmly. You could do this on cardstock as well. Uh, watercolor paper gives you brighter color because of the tooth of the paper. It kind of scrapes a little bit more of that pigment off of your pencils, and that's why you end up with a brighter color when you use watercolor paper. Also, because there's sizing in watercolor paper, it's designed to get wet, so the, uh, the paint can kind of sit on top of the paper rather than um, be absorbed too much in there. So here I'm going in rainbow order, I'm getting down to some purple, and I think I'm going to add a little bit of crimson right to the tips here so it's kind of made a full spectrum. Um, and also I will recommend if you're stamping on watercolor paper, which tends to be a little bumpy, um, and I'm just using cold press, I'm not using the smooth hot press stuff, uh, clear stamps will work a little bit better because they can squish down into that texture and really give you a nice crisp crisp image. Whew. I'm telling you, I should uh, do some vocal exercises before I start to do a video. Woo! Alright, so I'm just going to wet my paint. Trying to keep it in the lines, but I'm doing it quickly. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Rinse in between colors. I want it to blend, but I don't want it to muddy up. Like, I wouldn't want that red right on top of that green, because that would make mud. And look how fun and easy that is. They blend so well. You know, just use watercolor paint if you don't have the pencils. Um, I really like these in Ink Tense pencils by Derwent. They're just so vivid and lovely. And if you don't have any watercolor pencils, I really recommend getting that brand. And if you have watercolor pencils already, you can use those. That's not a problem. But if you're looking for something really bright, you really ought to try those Ink Tense pencils. And I can go in and kind of blend them around a little bit more if I want. Look how quick, look how vivid. Isn't that pretty? This is actually a little brighter than my first sample because I decided I wanted a little bit more color um, in it. A nice thing about having a really um, crisp, dark image is that I could actually just splash color over the design and it would look pretty. I don't even have to take the time to stay within the lines. This is just such a fun and easy card that you can make in a few minutes and send off to somebody. Make for a birthday or thank you or what have you. And there you go. Look how easy that is. Now let me just hop across the room, hop hop like a bunny, and look I have an envelope that I stamped that I completely forgot to bring over here. I'm going to do the exact same thing for coloring. Um, actually I'm going to do my rainbow, but I'm actually going to start in the middle with a little bit of red. And here I just stamped this with um, Stampin' Up! Basic Black because it's waterproof. You could use um, I think Ranger Archivals, nice watercolor dye based, waterproof dye based ink. Just got to make sure it's waterproof, that's it. Or you could use your you know, black pigment ink and heat set it, that should work for you as well. And I don't want to put too much water on this envelope, it is a textured paper. It came with the watercolor, um, the watercolor cards, 
which are by Canson, I believe. But um, it's not really watercolor paper. It doesn't feel like it's got the sizing in it. So I do want to be careful not to add too much water to that. And just going to quickly go in with the water. And since I've got kind of a large flat brush, I can kind of liquefy it, flip my brush over, and do the same on this side really, really quickly. So who says you don't have time to make a handmade card? I hope that was in frame. I won't know until I, until I upload it. <laughs> I guess I could just cut the end of this video off if that's the case. Oh, you'd forgive me, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, my, my YouTube people are awesome. They're so forgiving with the uh, quality of the <laughs> videos I upload sometimes. All right, and there we have a cute envelope that matches a really cute card. And if you get a uh, um, big gob of paint there, like I have, I'm just going to tap it off. But you could just dip a, um, a dry brush and soak up any sort of uh, puddles that you have. And uh, everything's going to be fine. And cherry wine. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.